Hi everyone, my name's Charlie and we're here in the collection spaces of the Natural History Museum. I'm joined by museum scientist and snake specialist, Marco Kamaiti. Hello. And we're here to answer a question that I never consider myself to ask, do snakes have legs? And if you haven't seen the video already with Marco, slither your way down into the description to click that link and watch it first. So Marco, we're joined by some slippery little noodles here which I'd describe as kind of Indiana Jones's worst nightmare. Yes. So to answer this question, do snakes have legs? So am I wrong? Are the rumors true? So the answer is uh, more complicated than you think. Uh, so yeah, most snakes do not have uh, legs, at least external legs. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> however, uh, their ancestors used to have legs. Uh, and the, some of the modern snakes that we have nowadays, they still have some, uh, I would say, remnants of vestigial limbs that are, uh, yeah, what's kind of left of this uh, very long evolutionary process. Okay. So, for example, uh, pythons and boas, uh, which are uh, kind of like a relatively primitive uh, group of snakes, uh, they do have some, uh, like, spurs that uh, come out of uh, uh, the sides of their cloaca. Uh, and uh, you can actually see them in some of these animals. So if you look at uh, this uh, uh, python here, this is a python. Uh, so you can see that it has like a little bit of a nail here, okay? Oh, yeah, like a like very, a very, nail. yeah, exactly, a tiny, tiny leg. So that's, uh, that's uh, what's left uh, uh, through all of these millions of years of evolution of uh, uh, a once mighty leg. Wow. <laughs> So what you're saying is that's great. Snakes are carrying around a bit of their kind of evolutionary history. Yes, yes. Just as they slither around. Well, that leads me on to my next question. How, how do snakes actually move around? Because I thought you might need legs to move around. So, uh, well, uh, it turns out that uh, uh, moving without legs is actually a very good way of moving. Uh, and uh, in some cases, it's actually better than having legs. Uh, so, for example, uh, uh, snakes have uh, quite a lot of different ways they can use their body. So they can use it, to, you know, to climb on trees, they can use it to swim, uh, they can use it even to move through the sand, like in very specific ways. But the most common way that they move their body is uh, undulating locomotion. Exactly. Kind of so, you know, like just uh, the, your standard slithering, okay? Right. So, uh, and how does that work? So essentially they have, uh, uh, they, most of the wave of locomotion that, uh, uh, like goes through their bodies and their muscles is uh, uh, is actually mediated through their uh, their axial undulation. So their uh, their axis, their spine, uh, mm -hmm. is uh, is actually the, the 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 center through which the locomotion wave pro propagates. Right. Whereas uh, if you have legs, it would be your legs, of mm -hmm. course. So it's a completely different way of locomoting. Uh, and it can be, I guess, more efficient for specific settings. So, for example, if you're in a very cluttered, very uh, complex setting, uh, having legs can be detrimental. So, mm. being without legs, no maybe, elbows. Exactly, no <laughs> elbows, no elbows, nothing to get stuck in mm. vegetation, etc. So, that's uh, one way that you can move. Interesting. What scared me the most in that answer is that snakes are moving everywhere. Yes. Uh, in trees, in water. Can't escape. Creepy <laughs> stuff. Um, so heading back to this idea of these ancient snakes that had legs and have since kind of lost them through evolution, um, a silly one for you. If I was a snake with legs, would my legs be on the front or back? I think basically what I'm trying to ask you is, where would a snake wear its trousers? Oh yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, silly it's. One. I guess it's a silly question, but it's. Uh, it's also like a reasonable one to ask. So as I've shown you before, for this uh, this python, so you can see that uh, they have. Uh, remnants of the back legs, not of the front legs. So, so what we think is that the snakes uh, actually, like through evolution, they actually lost their four legs before their hind legs. So, so essentially at some point you might have had like a snake that had only back legs. In fact, we do have this in some fossils. Uh, so uh, like Pachyrachis, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah, of course, like, you know, most snakes uh, do not have legs, but those ha that have some remnants uh, have those remnants inside their body. Okay, so uh, I would say that if snakes had trousers, so they would actually wear them on the inside of their body, which is just a very strange image. <laughs> it's quite a scarring image. <laughs> well, thanks for humoring my quite silly question of some actual science, which I wasn't expecting. Um, so these snakes that have lost their legs through evolution, um, why would they have done that? What are the kind of selection evolutionary pressures that have led to this? 
So uh, one of the things that uh, I guess it's a, it's a series of uh, concerted changes that have led to this uh, to this uh, like loss of legs. So it is thought that uh, snakes originally like they 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 used to be almost like normal lizards if you can think about them, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, at some point some of them might have become uh, like fossorial, so essentially living in the substrate or the soil, mm -hmm. uh, and that might have uh, essentially kickstarted the whole process because it's uh, more convenient uh, to like if you're living in a burrow. Uh, or in a narrow environment, it's more convenient not to have legs at mm. all. And so also their body got more elongated at the same time. So this is why they got so many vertebrae in their body also. Ah. So almost as if the legs, would ju they just get caught underground. Yes. Yeah, yeah they're just, it's, it's just like it leads to a higher mortality for the ones that have like some legs, whereas the ones without legs are the ones that are selected and survive and uh, so on and so forth. It's really interesting. Yes. Um, so earlier on we were chatting before and you were um, mentioning these snakes and calling them danger noodles. Yes. And as snakes have lost their legs, noodles kind of will naturally slither around and move around. Are there any examples of animals that have done a similar thing to snakes and lost their legs over evolutionary time? Or are all noodles that we describe snakes? So, well, I guess that the, the, to answer your question in the same terms, you, I would say that, uh, like... Uh, all, layman terms for me. Yeah, layman okay. terms, of course, no, is that all snakes are noodles, but not all noodles are snakes. Uh, okay. so, so, that, uh, so there are quite a lot of, uh, like, other uh, reptiles, and not only reptiles, that have uh, lost their legs through evolutionary time. So, for example, uh, if we look at this animal here, this is a skink, and you can see that it looks pretty much like what you would imagine a snake to look mm. like, right? But it's clearly not a snake, okay? Uh, like, just look at the head and it looks more like a strange lizard head, but mm. uh, not a snake head. It's like a kind of shovel. Yeah, it's a yeah. shovel. It's a, it's a fossorial uh, skink. Right. So uh, these type of zoo animals are actually extremely common across reptiles. Mm. So you have like, uh, like cordylix, uh, gerosarids, uh, um, pagopodids, uh, skinks, uh, and dabamids, and, uh, and uh, anguids uh, that have lost uh, or reduced their legs and becoming more like noodles. Uh, right. So it's actually a very common trend across uh, fossorial animals, uh, mm -hmm. and even across animals that live in uh, tall grasses as well. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat that one more time for me? That, so, the noodles and snakes. Oh, yes, so all snakes are noodles, but not all noodles are snakes. Cool. I'll remember that. All right, Marco, another kind of silly question for you, but hopefully might have a bit of science behind it. Please, by all means. If evolution, in, in terms of snakes, was this kind of game of snakes and ladders, and to lose their legs, snakes slid down a snake, could, in theory, they climb back up the ladder and re-evolve legs? So the answer is, uh, well, surprisingly more nuanced than you might think. Okay. So, yeah, maybe, you know, snakes have uh, almost completely uh, lost their legs or completely lost their legs in most lineages. Uh, however, there is evidence in at least some other reptiles that uh, some of this process might be happening or might have happened already. Mm -hmm. uh, so, for example, in amphisbenians, which are like these uh, uh, mostly legless uh, reptiles, a uh, big group of legless reptiles, so, uh, there are some, uh, some of them, for example, the genus uh, 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 bipis, uh, mm -hmm. who have uh, uh, purportedly re-evolved their front legs uh, because essentially they are uh, all bracketed by relatives that have no legs. So it is uh, very uh, kind of like, you know, if you follow Occam's razor kind of principle, mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, it, it seems like uh, it's uh, more complicated to actually have, uh, um, have kept their legs from their ancestors onwards. So probably like there is some evidence that they might actually have re-evolved their legs completely. So it might be possible, maybe more very, very difficult, but uh, mm -hmm. not impossible. As long as the genes are still there, as long as the developmental sequence is still there, it's probably possible. Wow. For example, if you see uh, this uh, skin here that has like, you know, very tiny remnants of the hind limbs, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so uh, that might be something that's reversible. Uh, okay. So even in skinks, uh, there might be a situation in which you go from something like this mm -hmm. to something more like this, which is a relatively more legged uh, skink. It's still short legged, but it still has some legs. Uh -huh. So oh. it is. I would say it's not impossible. It's just very, very rare and very hard. Wow. I, I again did not expect that that would have a really, really interesting answer. Um, so 
those animals that you described that maybe have re-evolved some form of leg, would they be used for digging or...? I, I mean, in the case of bipeds, which is the only documented case in which we thought that might have happened, mm -hmm. uh, they actually, they're called the mole lizards. So they do have like these four legs only, no, no but hind legs, which is really a strange kind of uh, combination, kind of the opposite of what snakes have, right? Right. Uh, and, uh, and they use them for digging. So they have like these very big front legs and they just have, like use them for digging, very kind of like wet sand. Wow. Awesome. Cool. Well, thank you so much, Marco, for chatting all things noodles and all things snakes. It's been fascinating. I think you've made snakes, definitely to me, a little bit less spooky. Oh. So thank you so much. Yeah, no worries. Thank you so much to Marco for putting up with our silliness to do with snake evolution, especially answering those questions with concrete science. Who knew that's where snakes would wear their trousers? I've got one more question for you. If snakes were to wear scarves, where do you think they'd wear them? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget, if you want more Natural History Museum content, you can like, comment, and subscribe to get more.